Yo, yo, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This is T.Y., man. Mr. Keep It 100 Boxing, man. Let's bring y'all another episode, man. And um, <clears throat> like I always say, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Hopefully you can uh, subscribe to my channel, man. Keep It 100 Boxing on YouTube. Subscribe. I'm up for all comments. I'm for all, all going back and forth commentary. I'm for all that. Make sure you hit the bell icon. And um, just show me love, man. And I appreciate it if you can share me on all social media platforms, man. I appreciate all the love, man. And like I said, I'm coming give you, I'm trying to give you the, you know, bring real shit, no fluff, no bullshit. Just like, you know, I'm trying to keep it real with y'all, man. Let's talk some boxing, man. And I know it's Monday, so I'm bring y'all another mythical matchup Monday, man. And um, today I'm going to do Lennox Lewis versus Anthony Joshua, UK style. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to say, you know, who won that fight if they will fight? I know AJ's still fighting. You know, but I'm just gonna say AJ. You know, prime. I think AJ in this prime, and versus Lynch Lewis. Lynch in this prime. Yeah, uh, I think it'd be really interesting to fight. You know what I'm saying? Because they're both six five, both got long reaches, both are Olympic gold medalists. You know, both are unified champions. You know, and um, you know. Of course, Lynch had, of course, Lynch had a deeper amateur background than Joshua. You know, I mean, AJ been knocked out. Lynch been knocked out. Lynch came back at this knockout. So AJ did against Ruiz. That's a lot. That shows a lot in my book. <laughs> Even though Lynch did his little better when he got knocked out by Oliver Carr and Hasim Rahman, he came back and get, got knockouts. But that's maybe here or there. A W to W. I mean, it's about it's about it's about the results. They both, you know, if you. If you, how I look at it, I feel like it's going to be a test of the jabs. Who can establish their jab first? You know, and, and Lynx has a beautiful jab. AJ has a good jab. I think that, you know, if you ever watch Lynx, Lynx fight, especially like when he fought against uh, Shannon Bridge, Bridge came out fast. Even Time Morrison tried to come out fast. So I think Lynx would try to See what AJ got first. So I think AJ best shot to win the fight is to push Lynch early. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Because I feel like if, if if the fight gets to the middle round, Lynch might get him out of there. But I feel like for AJ to win, he would have to go at Lynch early. You know, and try to and try to get Lynch out of there. You know, like Mike tried to get him out in that first round. Mike was Mike came out hard. A man Stewart even said it. Go back and watch the fight. He said him come out hard. After that, first couple rounds, he he won't have much left. And I feel like he uh, AJ should come out. AJ will come out hard and try to get Lynch out of there. AJ has a great jab. He has a great he has a great uppercut on the inside. Um, and AJ has heart. And I mean he has heart because he didn't have to. He came back after the uh, Ruiz loss knockout. He he came back when when Chris almost got him out of there. So I think AJ would try to he would try to go fast and try to attack Lynch like how Briggs did, you know, and try to you know rough it, try to rough him up. And I think Lynch will be trying to catch his shots early. But I think eventually Lynch will start establishing that jab. And, you know, and Lynch has a sharp rage of jab that, that's like demoralizes guys. And what thing Lynch does is he know how to jab, jab, hold the Klitschko shit that he learned from Manuel Stewart. And I feel like he's a stronger fire on the inside. So, and Lynch, was, Lynch, Lynch didn't throw a lot of body shots, but he did. He, he, he did hit people a couple good body shots to slow you down. And I feel like with, with the muscle and how AJ is, I feel like Lynx would, Lynx would start to lean on him and hold him. Jab, jab, hold. Right hand. And Lynx hit, like, Lynx hit hard and shit. That's one thing about him and Vlad. When they did that jab, jab, hold shit, them boys hit hard, man. <clears throat> but um, I feel like AJ would start off fast. I would think AJ would be up going like to the third, fourth round. And I think, but I think Lynch would start grinding, establish the jab, hold, push, lean on AJ, you know. And I think eventually he'd catch AJ around like the fifth, sixth round with Sonar. And I can see him going down. <laughs> and um, I can see Lennox getting him out of there around the fourth, fifth round. Like I said, I think AJ's best result will be to start off fast and try, and, and try to, you know, Work Linux and try to like see what he got. Try to touch his chin, you know. Um, 
I don't think he should do the Rockman approach and try, and try to counter him. If you watch the fight, Rockman, the first fight, the first Rockman fight, Rockman was using his footwork, was trying to set that, set that big right hand that he eventually got links with. But even though Hasim wasn't the, the best boxer, I think Hasim is a better, he could fight a little bit better, a little bit better off the back foot. If you call him from the back foot, it's the first fight. That's boxer in the ring, using the ring by the AJ. He, they both, I'm not saying what fucking Hasim Rahman Ali with the footwork, but he, he he got better footwork and it's more of a natural than AJ. It, it, he more coordinated, you know what I mean? You know, and Rahman had more experience, you know. Um, But I think that, I don't think AJ capable of setting Lennox up with a, with a big right hand. I feel like he had to press the fight to beat Lennox. I feel like Lennox, can what a step for him to when he was had established his jab where AJ down and eventually get him out with a big right hand because once AJ get tired that that, that right hand gonna come down he gonna come over the top you know what I'm saying so I just I, I see Lynch icing him around the fifth sixth round and that's exciting fight though because like I said I think I think AJ gonna have time he gonna sit there he gonna fight he gonna try to trade with him Similar how like Vlad, I'm not Vlad, Vitaly did uh, Linux. You know, I could see it going down similar like that. I I I don't see uh, I don't see Linux taking all the damage that he took versus AJ versus that he did versus uh, Vitaly in that last last fight as a pro. But um, I just feel like overall Linux would get him. But that's what this fight the AJ that I say a fifth six round knockout. It's just like. I mean, I think Lynch can go down because if if AJ can get in there and and, and set the uppercut, he got a shot. You know what I mean? And I don't think AJ a great puncher, but he's a good puncher. I think he's a better puncher than Rock Mine. You know, McCall. I mean, McCall Tony with the right hand too. You know, I don't think AJ right hand is good as Rock Mines or Oliver McCall's. You know, and Oliver McCall had a fucking great chin. Oliver McCall got one of the great, best chins ever. And I mean, Oliver McCall took a lot of punches in a lot of his fights. He, he McCall <clears throat> had a great chin for heavyweight. Go back and watch Oliver McCall fights. McCall, uh, he could take a shot. I give him that. Um, but like I said, y'all, I appreciate y'all, man. Make sure you got to keep it 100 boxing, man. I'm on Instagram, but. Go over there, follow me, man. I bring shit over there. Follow me on uh, Instagram. Keep it 100 boxing. But also, but also follow me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. You know what you're watching right now. Keep it 100 boxing, man. Like I said, they're trying to bring the real, no bullshit, no fluff. I ain't capping for nobody. I'm just trying to bring real, real good content. You know what I'm saying I ain't trying to bring really no bullshit to the table. You know what I'm saying I'm just trying to try and keep it. Keep it 100 as the, as the name, man. But follow me on uh, on Twitter, TY Philly 83. You know, I'm on there. I, I talk boxing all day, every day. You know, and other sports too, other shit too. But I, I, I mainly talk boxing. Um, But back to the mythical matchup, Lance Lewis versus uh, Anthony Joshua. I just think that's a, uh, that, that'd be an exciting bomb, bomb burner, man. And, this not me knocking AJ. You know, heavyweights only take one punch for a motherfucker to get out of there. Especially with two big punches. We talking about two unified champions, two former Olympic gold medalists. You know, and it, I, it'd be about the about the Jazz. But like I said, I feel like AJ best if he start fast. AJ try to start slow and box with Lennox and let Lennox have that jab, that right hand. He, he he going out. But you know, so I think best for him is the the uh, is to come out strong. You know. But like I said, I feel like Lennox would eventually get to him. The am Plus, he has way more amateur experience. The amateur experience will help him out too. He's been hurt before. He know how to hold. He know how to survive. You know. But they're two great fighters, man. You know. I like AJ. His resilience, man, because he came back in that Ruiz fight and proved that you know he ain't no chump. He came back against Vlad when fight went a fight a year. It might have been fight a year, but I know it was a candidate. And that was a great fight for heavyweights. They went to war. You know? But um let it be a great one, man. And uh hit me up in the comments, man. Um just let me know what y'all want 
What y'all want? I could bring more mythical matchups. I'm bringing them every Monday, man. I got something new coming every day now. You know what I mean? So just let me know what's going on. What you want to what you want to talk about? Who you want me to talk about? You know. And I feel like another thing too, Lynx will have the experience in the corner, you know. He has a better he, he has one of the best trainers ever in Emmanuel Stewart. That's another thing too. <clears throat> but I, I just feel like Lynx would be too much for AJ. It's not not because AJ Lynch Lewis one of the top ten heavyweights ever. You know what I'm saying some links the top seven, five heavyweight. He won the best to ever do it. He dominated the arrow, you know. He he he, ran, he, he beat everybody. He beat Holyfield. He beat Tyson, you know. He beat the guys on his arrow. He had the belts, the, the 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 alphabets, the ring. He had the belts. He was a consistent heavyweight champ of the world, man. You know, he beat them all. I mean, I mean he beat them all in his arrow. I guess he didn't fight Chris Bird. But besides that, who he ain't fight? He fought them all. I mean, he missed Rick Bow, but it's, you know it was Bow. They say Bow Doug was politics. Who knows? Who gives a fuck? We we'll talk about it another time. But um, for the A-body, man, I just feel like he'd be too much for AJ. Um, but let me know what y'all think, man. How you think the fight will go down? I, I just feel like after the third round, Lynch will be on crucial. Lynch will start establishing his jab. Might, might even cut AJ. And throw that fucking that, that that hard right hand he got, and he know how to hold you, zap your energy, and, and we all know that Adrian had the best gas tank. Look, like I said, uh, let me know what y'all think, man. Hit the bell icon so you know when my videos coming, man. I'm trying to bring y'all, I bring y'all this, I try to bring y'all heat, man. Bring real shit, man. I try not to bring like, the other channels to talk about the same shit all the time, you know. That shit is annoying. I try to bring different things to the table, man. So that was my own lane, man. Like I said, I, I appreciate all the support and subscribe, man. Tell people, tell your people to subscribe, share, share my shit, man. They show me some love, man. I appreciate everybody, man. You have a good one.